a passion for gambling. Macau is in the midst of a big casino building boom, fueled by wealthy gamblers from mainland China. Once a year, professionals converge on the former Portuguese colony for Asia's largest gaming event. For many, it may feel like a new El Dorado. Casinos here now generate five times the revenue of Las Vegas. There's something about the Asian culture where gaming is acceptable as a form of entertainment, and so that is a major driver of uh, the success, I think, that you've seen here and clearly in Singapore. And many countries in Asia are hoping to emulate Macau's success. Several huge integrated resorts, all in one playgrounds of casinos, hotels and tourist attractions, have recently opened in Singapore. Vietnam and the Philippines have also several mega resorts in the pipeline, hoping for a share of the action. But Macau's experience shows you need more than just good casinos to make money. You need to have the hotel support, the, the environment, the shopping, because um, for mainland Chinese, shopping is a very important um, element when they go out to travel. They are not yet the sightseeing type. Thousands of mainland tourists flock to Macau every day, the only place in China where casinos are legal. The country's economy may be showing signs of cooling down, but industry leaders hope Asia's huge appetite for gambling will sustain the boom. High-rolling Chinese VIPs represent 75% of Macau's gaming revenue. Many of them come on organized gambling trips. The vital signs there are very strong, and what the junket operators are doing is they're uh, doing their business development efforts throughout China into, into new markets where they haven't done business before, and we're seeing new play come to the, to the market. There are now five integrated resorts on Kotai Strip, which has boomed since the city liberalized its gaming industry in 2002. And if it all goes well, numbers could double over the next decade. Gaming revenue may have slightly fallen in recent months, but the major players in the industry are all too ready to continue placing their bets on Chinese money.